Hey, it's two. Uh, what day is today? Wednesday. Wednesday. We're moving on. <laughs> what are you doing, pal? Yeah. There's Jack. Hey, Jack. What are you doing, pal? You doing some crunches? You doing some PT work? Yeah. Are you waiting your turn, Eli? Yeah, you being a good boy over there? All right, so it's Wednesday, and uh, yeah, we're doing some PT work on the boys because we are now upgraded to every other week, which is fantastic. And also, dun, dun, dun. if you notice, they haven't been wearing their helmets because they graduated. That's it. And now we're doing work. So how does it feel knowing that your children have Graduated helmets, and you don't have to drive down to Hackensack, New Jersey, every day or every Tuesday. Feels good. Does it feel like Christmas morning good? Well, it feels good because, like, <laughs> Eli feels good about it. You know, it's one less thing they have to get poked and prodded for, so. I don't sense the excitement, but I'm excited. Look at this man, no more helmet. But he has the helmet hair. Look at his helmet hair. Look at it. <laughs> we gotta show you Eli's, Eli's progress. But at least we're going into this position a little bit easier. See, for nine month olds. Nine month olds, yeah. Nine month olds. You're probably used to seeing them crawl by now but because of their premature adjustments, they're only seven and a half months. Uh, no, actually about seven. About seven, so they're a little bit behind, but they're actually kicking butt for, I mean, we, my wife's been doing a fantastic job on the side, so we don't, not only are we doing PT, but we're actually working at home with everybody, and uh, they were saying a lot of parents don't end up doing that, so their kids fall behind, but. They're doing awesome, and it's all thanks to my wife, which I wish I could show you her beautiful face. Maybe one day. Almost forgot I had to finish my thumbnail for the video that came out yesterday. It's a weird paradox time thing. So, but look at this. If you ever get a Sony camera, the low light is incredible. I'm, re I'm literally just using the light that's coming from the other room. In any other camera, usually you would have issues, but not, not a Sony camera. I am not endorsed and I'm not sponsored. Use what you like, I'm just saying. That's it, that's the one I'm going with. Look at that face, it's so angry. That's kind of how you feel though when, when your camera's about to fall off the camera for the third time. So I'm glad I got the new switch pod and I'm sticking to it. This is the calm before the storm. <laughs> it's almost bottle time. Hear that? It's bottle time. All right, so the minions are fed and asleep. Cross your fingers. So anyway, speaking of the graduating from helmets and progressing and everything and talking about the nine months, um, I was just trying to think of a way to close the vlog. So I figure we go over uh, some challenges of being a parent at nine months or the, yes. Sounds about right. <laughs> so I'll ask my wife first, and here we go. Guess just the, like you know, with where we're at right now with them, and you know, are there new challenges with being parents during a pandemic to babies, let alone preemie babies? Um, you know, a lot of it we signed up for when we got pregnant. No sleep, teething things like that i would say the biggest challenge to continue is you know the appointments that they sometimes have to go to like physical therapy our physical therapist is great where we go is great it's just like with covid and everything everybody has to be masked and like it's just it's it's sometimes it's a lot after a long day so and you know they they get frustrated with it by the end too because they're tired and they want to come home and yeah. Yeah. What about the sleeping? Sleeping just normal? Expected? Yeah. I mean, it's it's expected. Like they're growing, their bodies are figuring out what 
to do and what needs to grow and you know for them they're two months behind so they're experiencing things differently than others would so yeah i mean that's that's expected regardless of a baby being full term or being a preemie so like a lot of that i like i said before i don't think that's really a challenge per se i feel like that you know we signed up for maybe to maybe not as extensive as some days as it's been but you know that was expected no sleep forever no not forever just Until they're 18 and out of the house no just just bye. a little bit bye felicia <laughs> okay so it's a couple hours later kids went to sleep they kind of had a little bit of a moment but it's resolved now they're, they're sleeping so anyway to finish the vlog asking me the question uh my wife pretty much summed up everything with uh relation to covid and all that stuff but i just want to go back to the helmets thing because we forgot to mention that one of the greatest things about the helmets being off is the fact that their heads don't smell like a gym sock <laughs> would you agree yes because they're moving around so much, so the helmets just hold the heat and everything in, and it's, it's pretty terrible by the end. Yeah, so, but that was a huge, <laughs> huge positive by the, the by the, to their helmets being off, because by the end it was just, no one liked their helmets. The kids didn't even like the helmets. You, like when they first got them, obviously they were really young, but it wasn't until last month and a half they really hated putting them on. So, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. So, I'm glad that they're off. We're all glad that they're off. We're all glad that they're done. That's awesome. So, I'm gonna end this vlog because it's really late now. It's time for bed. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Create something awesome. Stay awesome. Subscribe if that's something you like to do. Hit that bell so it'll let you know when videos go up. And I'm hoping to do have videos up every day at 6 p.m. So anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.